This is a story about a snake, a dragon, or an eel. His name is Dragon Eel. Who is he? Why is everyone been talking about him recently? Let's roll the clip! Basically, I don't think no one knows who the heck this guy is, but as you can tell by this little clip I recorded, without him knowing, he is a dragon looking thing. He has eel in his name, and eels and snakes are kind of similar, and I have no idea what on earth he's doing, because I think he's a... I kind of think he's a moron, just saying. Um, anyways, uh, I don't know how, how to describe this guy. What did he... He lives in a cave in our town. What did I miss? Why is he jumping up down, down like a psycho, like an idiot? Is this what he does? Um, and break into houses. I think everyone just evacuated because he's so ugly. Does he just does he do this on a daily daily basic basic? I mean, I'm supposed to be a narrator, but I'm just so desensitized to how dumb this guy is. Is he going? Is he going on an adventure, or he's just going to eat someone? Are you going to eat anyone? No, you're just gonna stand like there like a moron. Okay, he hangs out in this house. I forgot her name. If you I feel bad that anyone watches the show show he's but the moment guy scream this con is like James! This is her name and I'm gonna be like, uh anyways back to Dragon Eagle. He hangs out in Everfree's force. Bruh. Why does this guy like to hang out in random locations? I mean he is a dragon, I mean what I'm talking about, I'm supposed to be documenting, not talking this guy out. Well, see, Dragon Eel is more like an eel and a snake. We call him Dragon Eel because we have no idea what the heck he is. I mean, he is a quarry eel. And he's in Ponyville! Uh, yeah, it's time to call an emerging meeting or something. Um, he's gotta do anything, or he's gotta be literally the snake he is. Um, he just seriously gotta take a swim in the pond. He's literally swimming in the lake. I thought this guy was gonna be deadly, but... Should we look upon his backstory? Yeah, we should. And he's a teacher? Who the heck does this guy think he is? He thinks he's like everything? Yeah, we don't know where he comes from. I mean, I do, but... He comes from this unknown place than any other Cory Eel I've seen in the show. This guy is special. I'm not, I'm not sure you can see it, but I'm doing the special kind of Cory Eel. And what's he doing? Is he going to Twilight? No, he's going. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. 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 What's he doing? He's literally breaking into the school. What is he going to do? He can't be that smart to to unleash some incredible evil in this realm, can he? Wait, is that the fridge? Oh no, he did not! He just ate all the food! He ate all the food! What? Who, who do you think this guy is? Who do you think this dude is? He's crazy! Um... Anyways, I should tell you the actual truth, where he comes from, and it's kind of sad, I'm just saying. Yeah. So basically, this guy uh, lived in a dimension that was similar to Equestria. It was called Darkness Realm, I believe. He was the only creature there, unfortunately, because he was banished, because he did some crazy stuff. It was just, like, mind-blowing what he did, which I don't feel like mentioning it, because it's Probably a spoilers. But he had no one to talk to, he had no he really had no one to talk to. Which was so sad. Yeah, there was no one in these houses, he had the whole kingdom to himself, but I don't know what he did, but I heard it was like really pressing over there, but but he he had he, one day he found this weird blue teleportation thing. He didn't know what it did. It took him, like, a couple seconds to find it, because, uh, his IQ is not the best. 
yeah, it's not the best. I think it matched up smart than this guy, just being honest. And he, sh he found it. He follows a snack. He looked at it. He's like, oh, it's a snack. And he, he landed on it. And lo and behold, it was teleported to Equestria. He didn't know where he was. Was because that was the only place it would was for like several thousand years. Yeah, he looked there. He looked around for a couple of minutes or seconds, should I say? He looked outside and he saw stars and clouds because he's never seen these in the last like a hundred thousand years. And he was and he was just amazed. It was amazed. Like it was probably the happiest moment of his life and. He, uh, he saw, uh, he thought he could walk on the sky and he thought he was invincible. That, that one moment, he fell through the clouds and he thought he was dead, but when he woke up, he saw he was in Ponyville. And he decided to start his life here, so he comes here every once in a while. Even though all the senses fear him, he, Dragula is not a evil creature. I mean, his back's... He's not an evil creature. He used to be an evil creature several thousand years ago, but ever since he's took a more calmer approach, and that's the story of Dragon. You think we're done? No, there's a lot more explaining to do from this guy. Um. Okay, he's back in our town for some reason. I wonder what he's what 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 he will be doing. I mean, Dragon Hill is interesting. I mean, I've been talking a lot down of the dude a lot recently because, I mean, he is my friend. He's like, he's like my best, like one of my fr best friends at all, like all time. But where is he going? Okay, he's going back to his house, house which he stores a lot of things in there. It doesn't look like it, but he he hides it very well, like very well. I'm not sure what. Okay, he's going there. He's going in 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 his corner. Um. Okay. He has a lot of stuff. He has a lot of stuff in that corner. I mean, the whole like yeah, I'm not sure if you know this, but that whole corner can can literally hold like a like no like a gazillion items. I don't know how, but oh uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not. I think. I think I know where he's going. I have no idea what he grabbed though, because we didn't see what he grabbed because he has no hands. Wait, is he is he doing what I think he's doing? Is he going on the top of the? Oh my! Honestly, he's not going in the cave because why would he go in the cave and get that stuff? Because it's cursed. Hmm. He's going up. He's, is he trying to get on top of that thing? I've I've been on this game so many. I've been I'm being on this uh, game so many times. It's not physically possible to get up there unless if you have that flying carpet, which I can't get. I know I'm breaking the full full, but I'm just a camera. I'm just a camera. I mean, I'm just voicing over all this this stuff. Hmm. Um. Good luck, good luck, buddy. But I don't think you are getting up top of that um um yeah i think he's got um yeah he yeah yep he's gonna help he's just i think he's just gonna get there and i don't know what he's gonna do what are you gonna do buddy i mean he can do anything he can do anything oh oh i forgot he could do that oh no oh my he's blasting that Hey, that's my theme tune! Not theme, not, not theme tune. That's my try hard theme where I'm in a hard battle dragging. You know, why are you blasting it? I can't hear you! Uh. Oddly enough, yes, he has, like, I want to say, like, three of them, four friends. He has myself, Ethan, EJG Wizardman, and Blue Fly. Yeah, Blue Fly, we'll get to him in another video. Yeah, but today, the, or should I say tonight, is Dragon Eel's video. And he's just running around Ponyville for some reason. I wonder why. I'm just, 
I'm so confused. I mean, he can't hear me. He's going to the cake shop. Yeah, a little bit too big, but I'll, I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's way too big. Um, where are you going, bro? Okay, you're going to the boutique. That's Rarity's thing. I think it's Rarity something. I mean, I, I mean that's one of the only ponies that's not scared of Dragil, and he's going into. Wait, what? How did we get here? He's dropping up and down. Wait, was he typing? O M G. Um, what is it? I'm so confused. Guys, what is happening? Dragon Hill's acting so odd. He's acting so odd. I don't wonder why he's acting so odd. Hmm. What is it? I'm so curious. I'm so curious. Did he get a date? Is he sorry because he's going on a date? There's no way he got on a date before me. There's no way. I'm going hashtag 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 hash. Wait, I'm going. I think I can translate. I'm going on a date. Oh my god. There's no. He's being serious. With who, bro? Who? Tell me. Tell me who. Oh my god. There's no way in a thousand years she said yes. I mean, I think they're used to Dragon Eel, and I think they kind of feel bad because he's been alone for like. He's been in a dark realm for like several thousand years. And I think he's like. His like heart's like going boom, 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 be a bit for exposing pretty much Dragon Hill. Please don't kill me off this. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And we're going to use this text because only 11% of people uh, watch my videos and actually subscribe. If you guys can subscribe, that will be great. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.